Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Thursday. Uh, Thursday is my second favorite day of the week. No, it's not. <laughs> but what it does mean is that we're one day closer to Friday, one day closer to the weekend. Yes, that's the time of the week that we like right there. Um, I hope you guys are doing well this week, rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you had and are currently making it happen. Quickly, before we get started here, we are officially in the first month of September. Happy September to you. Happy almost back to school. What that means is that we are officially one week away, I think. I'm, yeah, next week. <clears throat> is convention. Holy guacamole. I thought we had two weeks left. Uh-oh. <laughs> so definitely convention is next week. Wow. Wow. What an amazing time. Oh man, just blew my mind right there. Um, if you are at all interested in essential oils, um, alternative wellness, holistic nutrition, anything of that sort, definitely this is an event that you do not want to miss. Um, it's a week-long event, information, education, community, uh, science behind the oils, why they work, how they work, what that has to do with us, uh, panel of teams that are going to be talking to us, customer feedback, oh my goodness, there's so much goodness going on, and uh, it's, uh, it, it's really an awesome time for me, I, it's, it's one of my favorite times of year, if you, if you couldn't tell already. <sighs> okay, so... Definitely, if you're interested, reach out to me. It's going to be in person as well as um, online. I feel like in person at this point with a week left to go, it's going to be a little bit tight on the timing restrictions. But definitely reach out to me. Drop me a comment. Send me a message. And we'll get you rocking and rolling for sure. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to take a breath after that one. That was a lot right there. I can't believe that we're actually. I, I honestly can't believe that we're all that we're uh, are already in th in uh, in in September <laughs> of 2022, <coughs> right? What? Oh my goodness! This year has actually flown by, right? I I mean, what uh, what 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 actually is going to come next? I I I can't believe that we're already almost done. What a great what a great time to be alive, for real. That's what I. That's all I'm talking about, actually. And that actually brings me into today's topic. We're going to be doing segment two of a new thing that we're trying out over here. Today's going to be Thankful Thursday, talking about what we're thankful about. I've got three things here that are awesome, and this is really something that we should be thinking about more than anything, especially nowadays, right? There's so much going on in the world, in your life, in other people's lives, in everything that ha that's happening right now at work, at home. And we, th this is really one of the things that we need to stop. We really need to, you know, kind of stop and, uh, and, and smell the roses, if you will, and be thankful for the stuff that we do have, especially be thankful for the time, the, the period in history that we're in right now. This is actually an amazing time to be alive uh, in terms of everything, right? finances, uh, life in general, life expectancy, right? We're expected to live a lot longer. It's so much easier nowadays to make money, to start a side business, to do something than it was even, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years ago. Um, actually, I just saw a notification that it's the 50 year anniversary of the summit series, Canada versus uh, the USSR in a time where, you know, turmoil was, was really raging and it was, it was a, uh, a really fascinating time to be alive and there's certain moments like that in history that we'll look back at that were great times to be alive and I promise you when historians look back this is going to be a moment in time that they look back and go wow what an amazing time in history that's right off the bat one thing to be thankful for you know what I mean <laughs> and this is really what it comes down to when we're thinking about being thankful for stuff. Something that was explained to me was for your worst day is somebody's dream day, right? There is somebody out there that is wishing to have the problems that you have right now, that is wishing to have, you know, the, what, what you consider struggles, trials, tribulations. So that's really something that, that needs to be remembered more often than not. It needs to be celebrated, right? As much as we think we're, you know, bad off, quote unquote, or like, you know, uh, uh, the worst is happening to us. There's so much, there, there's, there's a whole world out there outside of us. I know, right? <laughs> Took me a real while to realize that too. There is actually other people in this world that matter. 
<laughs> not not just us, right? I know, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but that's really what uh, that that's really where it can be a super benefit for us to realize that you know there's so much in our lives that we have to be thankful for, and if we just give it. It, 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 that's actually another thing that was explained to me is that we can't actually get more in our lives until we're thankful for what we have because when and that makes perfect sense because when we get new stuff or different stuff or more stuff right if we're not thankful for what we have chances are after we get that new shiny object we're going to you know the 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 happiness is going to fade right the uh the excitement is going to dwindle down and we're going to be left with, you know, just some new things that we're not thankful for, that we're not um, appreciative of, right? So that's where I wanted to come on today and just give some things that I'm thankful for, right? Just some, just a starting point um, in your journey, right? It, it can be very hard to, uh, to to really understand, you know, what to be thankful for. It can be really easy to be. This is where you know we as people kind of get in our own way. Um, it's so much easier for us to be uh, upset all the time or angry or, you know, jealous or envious or whatever of everybody else, right? Of, of something else that we, that we think we want, that we don't have, that, you know, would require our attention. And, that's, <laughs> and, and, and it really takes time away from us, um, you, you know, from our ability to understand the things that we have. That, that we already have, that we should be thankful for, that, you know, somebody else wishes they had. So let's get right into it, right? If you think of something that you're thankful for, definitely leave it in the comments. If you think of something else that I should be thankful for, definitely leave it in the comments. Reach out to me, drop me a comment. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing that I am grateful for more than anything is my significant other, Tina. She is really, you know, the, the best thing that has happened to me. Um, you know, as much as we don't always <laughs> see eye to eye, right? We've been together for 12 years, I believe it is, 11 or 12 years, right? So, I mean, <laughs> you know, we've gone through some stuff. We've, we've had some ups and downs. And, and at the end of the day, right, we always, there's, there's not really too many times where we go to bed angry, right? Or there's not too many things that we can't talk about uh, or have like a civil conversation. And, and really, that has been, you know, the, the, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the real backbone, the anchor of everything that I am. Uh, as a person now, right? She's been such, I'm, what am I, 34, 33? And, you know, what, what did I say, 11, 12 years, right? So that's a third, more than a third of my life that she's been a part of, right? And it's the last third, right? So it's it's a real shaping uh, third, if you will. And so that's really... Um, where where the effects uh, they they could they I guess you quote unquote come to fruition right they've been more prevalent at this moment of my life than you know to say if she was with me for the first eleven years right zero to eleven you most of us don't really remember too much of that moment I believe you know three or four is when you really start remembering things I don't know but you know that's that's just it right her relationship with me and my relationship with her is something that I am forever grateful for I I I love her you know more than anything in the world she is my you know my rock my everything and without her I don't know that I would I mean you know we're human so we figure it out right but it it would take me a lot longer uh than than I can do right now and you know it's 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 a good thing for you know, for her and I, what I'm thankful for more than anything is that she's really there to to sort of push back at me, right? I I get these ideas in my life and I, or in my head, and I get these you know thought processes that I want to go at, and and then you know I I I get really in the concept of what could go, what you know what what could happen and all that, and she's really good at kind of painting me sort of that you know realistic picture, sort of what. Um, is possible to happen, but not only is what possible to happen, but actually, you know, really letting me know, um, it, it really take a deep dive into thinking, right? Her, her, uh, uh, superpower, I guess, if you will, is organizing and planning. And for me, I, 
<laughs> not even at all, right? So for her, she always needs to know, whenever I get an idea in my head, she needs to know the plan, right? She needs to know, uh, you know, what's, what's happening, the steps that you're gonna take, how this actually comes to fruition, what this looks like if it were to come to fruition, right? For me, I get all sorts of ideas in my head, and then she's like, okay, well, run me through what a day of that looks like, and I'm sitting there like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you were supposed to figure that out, right? So that's where, you know, her and I were really good in, in terms of, for me, I just get super big ideas. I like to go, I like to do things, right? <laughs> I'm a doer. I'm not so much a planner, a thinker. And that's where her and I, we really work together because she's a planner, she's a thinker, and I'm the doer, right? So when, it come, when, when I want to do things, she needs to know the plan. She needs to know how organized it is and what, the, and, and what, you know, the steps that have to go into that. So that to me really brings me that step back in terms of, you know, it gives me the, the outer picture, right? I need to step back and see the big picture, the bird's eye view of what's happening. And, you know, a lot of times there's, <laughs> a lot of times there's things I need to change. And, you know, that comes with me not, not planning very well. And that's her superpower, right? So that's, that's something that I'm forever grateful for. Um, and just everything, right? Like she makes me laugh. I love the way she thinks, right? She cares so much about people, about others so much to the to the point where sometimes I have to tell her that you know eventually you have to take care of yourself she doesn't really do that very well because that's her nature right for her it's selfish to take care of herself and if she's always over there taking care of other people um, you know making sure that other people have everything that they need in order to succeed in life and that's an amazing trait of her and that's that's really what rubs off on me too. I can get, you know, I can get angry with the best of them. I can argue with the best of them. But for her, you know, she really instills that, you know, sort of kindness in me. That, um, you know, that 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 want, you know, to be a better person, uh, uh, you know, a, a nicer, happier, kinder, more pleasant to be around person, right? And that's that's really what she embodies. So that's where it's good for me. It's perfect. Her and I, I mean, we're. <laughs> Like, you know, as much as we don't always agree with everything, it's kind of human nature. I don't think it'd be very fun if we did agree all the time. Uh, but, you know, we agree for the most part. And, you know, on big things, big issues, we tend to agree more often than not on the, you know, the, <laughs> the big life issues and the things that actually matter uh, in the grand scheme of life other than, you know, just the, the little things, right? So, I mean, Tina's my most grateful thing for that I am that I have in my life and I you know I, I do what I can to protect that relationship as much as I can you know we all have our faults we all have our our, our trials and tribulations we're not always the you know the embodiment of the best person that we can be but around her I really want to strive to be and that's one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my life my next one here I have is my mom and dad, and I will put that as a slash to Tina's mom and dad. Both of the sets of parents have been big influences on my life. Um, we went through a, a, a period there, my parents separated, and you know, it was kind of all, you know, everything broke loose. <clears throat> and so when I met Tina, right, her parents kind of took me in and were really that, you know, sort of rock when I needed it. Um, and, and, and I didn't really have anything else going on in my life uh, for a long time, actually. And so, you know, my mom and dad, in early, early in my years, we played, I used to play hockey. We played sports all the time, right? So for me, you know, community, uh, team, um, leadership, uh, <laughs> organization to a certain extent, right, were very prevalent in my life. They were, ve they were huge qualities that were instilled for instilled on me from a, a, a an early age. Uh, my competitiveness came from my father a lot <laughs> more than anything. Um, you know, him and I, we really had a want to win more than anything kind of idea of life. So, you know, we did some things that maybe <laughs> we shouldn't have. We did some things that maybe were frowned upon. But you know, in the in the grand spirit of competition and wanting to win. Right, rules are uh, <laughs> the rules can be bent a little bit, I guess, if you will. But 
that's what I'm grateful for that, right? I'm grateful for that competitive nature that was instilled in me. I always want to strive to be the best. I always want to strive to do the best. I always want to strive to be better. Um, you know, that, that team uh, oriented uh, mindset for me really helps with my learning. I love learning new things. I love putting my time, effort, and energy into into you know the knowledge aspect of things. I don't always like to uh, to do the research, but I do like to learn new things. And I like to teach new things, right? So for me, teaching is a really good way of of learning more, right? It, it's it's an it's a it's a way of kind of instilling that um, into me, right? So that. That really, uh, you know, that really shaped my childhood as well as me growing up. Uh, I didn't, you know, I, <clears throat> there, is there things that I wish that my parents did differently? Obviously. Isn't there things that everybody wishes their parents did differently? But am I grateful for everything that they gave me? You bet your, you bet your bottom dollar I am. Um, you know, we always had... Uh, everything that I needed, right? We always had food, shelter, clothing. You know, we went on uh, vacations. We went to hockey tournaments, right? We went to games. We, would, we did all the stuff, right? All the stuff that, you know, any anybody that they could have wanted had. <clears throat> and, you know, <laughs> and my mother is, uh, you know, she's from, she she rules with an iron fist, right? And that's the way that most mothers do. And, you know, that always didn't get along with me. But, that is what it is, right? And and that actually really taught me a lot in terms of structure, right? How to grow up, following the right path, not really bending too far from what is needed to be done, right? Quote unquote. We all have stuff that we know needs to get done. We all have stuff that we know maybe can't, you know, maybe shouldn't be done. And that, that's really what it was, right? I learned, I learned from a young age what should and, you know, quote unquote should and shouldn't be done. And that's really what, uh, you know, that, that's what I uh, um, uh, carried with me, right, throughout life. I, you know, they, they really helped me, uh, you know, and, and they also helped me, you know, be a tough guy in the world, right? They, they prepared me as best they could for the world that was ahead, right? As much as they can. Nobody's really got uh, an instruction manual. And then even to, to flip that page to, Tar to, to, Tar <laughs> to Tina's parents, um, you know, my, my mother and father-in-law, they, they, you know, they, they're, I, I can see exactly where Tina gets it from because they are just caring, open-hearted people, right? They want to see you do well. They want to help always. They don't ever care really what your past is as long as you have good intentions for the future. And that's really where, you know, they, they come from and if they if if you're if you, if you want to do you know if you want to to you know not be the type of person that you should be that's fine don't even go it but if you're trying to be better be do have and and you know be an overall better person that's where they really come and help they you know they they want to to see people do good they want to do good for people and that's really what i'm appreciative from them for you know there i i i have gone through some periods in time and like I, like i mentioned so my um i never really you know later on after my parents separated i went with my dad and i never really had a relationship with my mom and then uh, a few years ago my dad passed away so i don't i didn't actually have anyone uh, for a long while and that's where Tina's parents kind of like I said they took me in and they kind of you know were that parent that I needed uh, in a time they you know what they were that 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 um, you know that really sort of voice of reason when I needed it that sort of you know uh, uh, shelter that I needed in, in, a, in you know in a really hard time right I was going through some stuff <laughs> my dad was my hero forever and you know I I Every, <laughs> my life with him was everything, right? And then when he passed, I, I really didn't have too much, in, too much going outside of Tina and her family, right? So that's where I kind of really, um, you know, dove right into that one. So, <laughs> right, that's 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 kind of that story. And you know, I'm I'm grateful for everything that you know my mom and dad and Tina's mom and dad have done for me and you know they are all of them together are the reason that I'm still here you know the reason that I'm the person I am today and they're the reason that I want to do more and be more have more right 
live the best possible life that, that one possibly can, I guess, if you will. Side note, water. I have iced tea here, but water is great for helping with your overall wellness. Um, try to drink at least six, eight, eight ounce, six to eight eight ounce glasses per day. My next thing here that I'm grateful for is essential oils and the business that it has brought me. Um, you know, I dislocated both of my shoulders when I was younger playing hockey. Uh, and I never really properly did the physiotherapy that came along with it. So they never healed properly. And I, <laughs> and I, um, you know, it, it, it hurt. They, they hurt all the time, right? My knee, my, my shoulders. Now that I'm older, my knees, right? The back, <laughs> everything hurts. And for me, I just, uh, I just had rub A535 cream basically forever. And I didn't really care about anything else because I had a problem, but I also had a solution, right? So I had problem, solution, boom, right? <laughs> Until uh, Tina, she actually used to do eyelash extensions. And one of her clients uh, introduced her to the world of essential oils. And then the one day she came home and she threw my uh, deep blue, or my um, rub A5 cream out and she gave me a bottle of essential oils. And she said, this is gonna do the exact same thing that you needed to, except you're gonna get more benefits from it. And <laughs> I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really care, but she threw the stuff out and I was forced to use this new stuff. And I can honestly tell you that it was the best decision that I ever made in my life. <sighs> essential oils for me have done a lot uh, in terms of helping with you know multiple aspects of my life. I quit smoking cigarettes, right? That was a huge thing for me. Um, I was able to get, you know, I'm, I, 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 still, I, I still am not able to do it fully, but I'm able to get my, my emotions somewhat, you know, most of, mostly under control, right? Every once in a while, I do have an outbreak, but my emotions are mostly under control. And the big thing more than anything is the, is the, the inflammation reduction that has that has given me um i you know i i don't really actually i can tell you that really when i do feel the pain is because i haven't been using my oils for a while and, and my body has just readjusted back to the way it used to be and so that's where i love the essential oils in general um they they are they work a whole lot better than uh, modern medicine because at the very base of it, essential oils are oil sol soluble, and modern medicine is water soluble. And your cells in your body are oil soluble, right? So if you think about this as your cell, modern medicine is water soluble, so it can't penetrate oil. If you know anything about science, water and oil do not mix. Essential oils are oil soluble, so they actually can penetrate through the barrier and get inside your cell and actually work from an inside out um, sort of way like that. That to me is what <laughs> is what is amazing about the oils and how they can work for you. Also, I realize that there's 150 different uses for peppermint oil. <laughs> That's crazy. That is actually crazy. 150 different uses for one oil. And actually, I can tell you that peppermint has become a household favorite over here because it gets used for almost anything. Me, I love using it for tension, right? I don't actually take Tylenol anymore. I don't, what, you know, and that's one of the things really that it's, that it's taken me off of is the modern medicine. Um, we in the oil community say that essential oils don't have side effects. They have side benefits because there's 150 different benefits for peppermint essential oil. So the chances are you're getting another benefit on top of the benefit that you're getting on top of that other benefit that you don't even know that you're getting. So that's actually where it's really amazing. I love using, I, I use oils all the time. I don't ever go anywhere without them. Oh, I actually have my trusty pouch here, right? Little bag. Got all my oils. This is the deep blue one that I was talking about. That's the that's the lotion right there, and that's it. It's it's just a lotion, right? So it's not even like an oil. This is the oil bottle, right there. But this one is just it's just a lotion, right? So that's that's actually where it's more amazing. This is just my bag. 
just right here, right? And I, I carry this everywhere I go. I don't really ever leave home without it. I can't imagine if I left home without it. That would actually suck. I don't actually know what would happen nowadays if I were to take, you know, Tylenol or any sort of medicine like that because I don't, right? I've, <laughs> I haven't in a while. So I can honestly say that I think something might, uh, you know, get <laughs> a little upset in there. So, you know, oils for me have changed my life. Also, and it's also been able to provide me a little bit of some side income, right? A little, a little bit of a lucrative business on the side, um, you know, that doesn't in turn, that doesn't interfere with anything that I'm doing in my, in my regular day, right? I'm able to make money on the side without actually having to do anything than just my regular stuff because the oils are so great actually that they they more or less just sell themselves once you get an experience with them i can honestly tell you that it doesn't take too much more than one or two experiences with the oils where you have um any sort of uh um, ailment that you're dealing with for you to fall in love with them and you know want to come back for more and that's really what happened to me I, I fell in love with them I wanted to come back for more and now I just can't get enough we've got you know rooms full of them <laughs> we use them all the time diffusers going more often than not you know in the bedroom and it's amazing Essential oils, I think, will be a part of my life for at least the foreseeable future. And I can't imagine a time where I'm not using and or teaching, talking about uh, how great my oils are. My last thing that I have here is just to consider life coaching, right? Life is hard. And, um, you know, being grateful and thankful for things in your life is really a skill that is learned. Being ungrateful and unthankful is a skill that really comes a lot easier to people. And, you know, being upset and being ungrateful, unthankful is not always, you know, a, 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 a seen issue, right? There's always, there's, sometimes there's a lot of underlying issues that, you know, we can't normally tell or we don't even know that are there. Something that was taught to me is we don't know what we don't know. <laughs> right? So, you know, consider maybe a life coach can help you figure out what you don't know and, and take care of some of those mental barriers, mental blockers that you have. And then who knows, maybe start, start your way on a path to an amazing life that you know you want to live. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. I know I had a lot of fun making it, something different than we normally did. Um, feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils, uh, how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, booking a free consultation with a certified life coach, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week ahead. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.